This is an extract from the Leader podcast by The Evening Standard, hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for us on your podcast provider. I was offended when the Leader of the Opposition went outside in the front of Parliament and stood next to a sign that said, Ditch the Witch. I was offended when the Leader of the Opposition stood next to a sign that described me as a man's bitch. I was offended by those things. Misogyny. Sexism. Still in office at the time, ex-Australian PM Julia Gillard savaged Tony Abbott in the country's parliament in 2012 in a speech that Hillary Clinton called striking. A year after this, Mr Abbott had the top job itself, but immediately caused controversy by only appointing one woman to his cabinet. He was PM for just two years when his own party turned on him and kicked him out. Last year, he lost his seat, one that had been held by his party since 1922 to the independent Sally Stegall, who was Australia's first female Winter Olympics medalist. Now he could be about to make a political return as an advisor to the UK's Board of Trade, which is trying to make Brexit deals around the world. Our editorial column says Mr Abbott's not really being hired for his trade skills. Tony Abbott's attraction is that he is a social conservative, of a kind sadly welcome in parts of today's Conservative Party, and President Trump's Republicans. He doubts the equality of women, thinks homosexuality is something society has to endure, and questions the significance of climate change. Next year, we are due to host the United Nations Climate Change Conference. How does that sit with a trade advisor who just two years ago said in a speech in London that climate change itself was probably doing good? I probably feel a bit threatened, as so many people do, he said in 2010 about homosexuality. There are a lot more quotes like these. Our bet is that Mr Abbott's hiring will turn out to be a flop. He won't help us get any trade deals at all. But the damage to the Tory party's standing will be real. Our political correspondent Sophia Slays here. Sophia, first of all, we should make clear that Tony Abbott's not being confirmed for this role. He's just being tipped for it just now. But how is the wider Conservative Party greeting that? Well, as you say, we had our uh, our daily briefing with the uh, Prime Minister's spokesman just now and he, he sort of emphasised, you know, no decisions have been made yet and he wasn't able to give us a date for when decisions will be made. But he, you know, Tony Abbott has been sort of hotly tipped to to get one of these roles. Um, well, within the Tory party, Caroline Noakes, a former minister, has been very, very outspoken. Um, she said it would be an awful idea to, to appoint Tony Abbott and called him a misogynist as well. Jeremy Hunt, he uh, he said he would be uh, surprised, was the word that he used, if Mr Abbott got this job. You know, not, not everyone, you know, has been so cynical. I think, you know, Trade Minister Greg Hands said that, you know, he welcomed Mr Abbott's desire to help the country out. But obviously he's a minister. Caroline Noakes and Jeremy Hunt are not, so they can speak a bit more freely. And there's been a, a huge outpouring from, from, you know, opposition MPs who are less than impressed, to say to say the least, really. Um, Nicola Sturgeon as well, she also called him a sexist, misogynist and climate denier, climate change denier. And, and Sakir Starmer uh, was clipped this morning um, saying that he had real concerns and he would never appoint him if he was prime minister. He does, though, have some defenders. Matt Hancock, the health secretary, was doing the rounds this morning, being questioned specifically about this and defending Tony Abbott as, as good at trade. Yeah, well, poor Matt Hancock. No one can deny that he's he's not been working, you know, really hard throughout the pandemic. What you know, whatever you think, that's undeniable. And he 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 went on Sky News this morning to talk about um, talk about testing, coronavirus testing. But he he got he got skewered by the interviewer Kay Burley in one of her expert interrogations. Um, and and he he defended Abbott. Um, which I mean, as we've seen, that was probably the most sort of an outward um, support that had been shown by a minister for Mr Abbott. And he was sort of saying, oh, you know, you know, Tony Abbott's got a huge amount of expertise in trade policy and things like that. Um, And he said that he didn't really think that he was homophobic or misogynist. And a rather outraged Kay Burley, you know, said, well, you know, he's a homophobe and a misogynist. And and Matt Hancock replied saying, well, He's also a tra- uh, an expert in trade, so he's been getting a bit of a roasting online for, for that. 
And the Trade Secretary, Liz Trust has also defended Mr Abbott, calling him a principal politician. And she said that the, the concerns about his views are irrelevant to his role on the UK's Board of Trade. But I wonder if the controversy might be making the government think twice. And maybe maybe that's why the, the PM spokesman was a bit reticent to give a date on when decisions will be made. Mm, perhaps, but I'm not sure this is a government to be bullied into making a decision on public outrage on controversial comments and, you know all you've got to do is sort of look back at you know our, our prime minister's journalistic career and some of the comments that he's made in the past whether that be you know over single mothers or, or whatever else and and you know making controversial comments in the past hasn't been a barrier to men getting top jobs in this government.